how you expressed it in Victory Lane. Tell us about this Indy 500. Yeah, it seems like a long time ago, actually, after, after Texas at the weekend. It's definitely fresh in my mind. And, uh, and uh, trying to get the car working around the, the speedway here in Iowa today. Uh, but no, Indy was, was very special. It's a special race anyway. Um, and any time you can, you can do well there, it's, it's great. And obviously to win is, is, is special. And, um, you know, the, the other part of that was definitely the... The real sort of outpouring of emotion for Dan, you know, like the whole month, everybody just paying respect to him, and uh, that was that was really great to see all the fans, the drivers, the teams in the car series. Um, it was the speedway itself. It was it was really really cool to see. Well, obviously, Dan's very special to us as well as being a, a former champion of the uh, Iowa Corn Indy 250. Let's turn our attention to that race upcoming here in a week and a half. Uh, new car, new day, same Iowa. Uh, maybe a, a little bit more character to the racetrack. Talk, talk to us a little bit about uh, uh, your potential here at uh, Iowa Speedway. For character, are you talking about bumps? <laughs> I'm being say, politically correct. It's actually not as bad as it looks on TV when I watched the, the Nationwide race. I, I really thought, oh, it's going to be tough. Um, but it's not quite that. It's bumpy. Turn two, obviously, this is the big problem still. Um, we've got to get the car working over there. It's, I don't think it's any worse than last year. I just think this new car we need to, to figure out and sort that out. But it feels very similar. Um, the, the surface may have lost a little bit of grip. It's for the aging, the natural aging process of the asphalt, and that's, that's fine. So um, I think it'll be same old Iowa. I think last year's race was, was incredible. Um, and I think this, this year's will be just as good. Talk about the new car just a little bit, your impressions, and how you feel about uh, making the switch. Yeah, I think it was time for a new car, obviously. Um, the, the the biggest thing for, for me, and I think most of the drivers, is the engine manufacturer competition. We're enjoying that. The, uh, the V6 turbos now instead of the V8. Um, I think it's more relevant for the manufacturers. They're, they're doing stuff there that they can one day transfer into their street cars in terms of basically producing horsepower um, for less miles per gallon, you know, we're, we're producing more miles per gallon for more horsepower basically, and that's something that, that will get transferred down um, in, the, in the future, so that's good, and it's been fun working with, with Honda um, in a competitive environment again, you know, we had that, that great period um, where there was no mechanical failures and everything, but it was kind of, you know, we wanted that, that fight again, so we've definitely got that with, with the Chevy guys, and um, so that's, yeah, that's, that's been fun, it's getting used to a new car, it's always difficult, there's, there's there's times, Texas, for instance, at the weekend where we just missed. We just absolutely got it wrong. And uh, that's part of it. And we need to do, do a better job of that. But um, you can see that the guys got it right. I and mean, Justin got it right. And uh, did a hell of a job at the weekend and, and, and full marks time.